All right, all right, all right. Well, good evening, everybody. David Ray Chick here once again, calling in right here from my home in Houston, Texas. Super excited uh, to be on this call with each and every one of you. Uh, we are definitely going to have, uh, later on, on the call, we're going to have our executive vice president of sales. He'll be joining us on this call here uh, in a little bit. Um, so, Alex, uh, I'm texting you right now. Text me on this number uh, when you are ready. All right, to, to, to come on uh, here. But super excited to be on uh, this call here tonight. Uh, this is the seven-figure mentorship call. And uh, this is a call that happens every single Sunday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, 9 p.m. Central. Uh, and usually it's our executive vice president of sales, Alex Moore, that actually does this call. Uh, we have a next wave leadership call that happens during the week. Uh, also on Wednesday that uh, Jason Brown, uh, and Matt Rose will typically lead as well. And periodically, I will um, I will ask to be on one of these calls. And uh, this is this is uh, this is one of those times where I ask to be on uh, the seven figure mentorship call tonight. So we usually either have Alex Moore on here or one of uh, of the top leaders, someone who's uh, possibly earned seven figures or, or multiple seven figures. Uh, in this industry. Most of the time, it's someone who's actually earned seven figures uh, in networking. So you get a chance to learn from some of the very best of the best. So I highly recommend that every single week you are on this call because you can learn something from everyone, okay? You can. You can learn, and you can definitely learn from the people that are actually facilitating uh, this call here. Uh, let me first say that I am, um, number one, extremely grateful uh, to God for what is happening right now uh, in iMarkets Live. I truly am. I'm extremely grateful uh, for Chris Pateri, Isis Del Torre, uh, the founders of this company, the individuals that had the vision, uh, had the courage, really, uh, to start iMarkets Live. If we could put a 777 in the chat uh, to really give it up for Chris Pateri and Isis Del Torre for starting this company, for having the vision uh, to say, you know what, we're going to have the courage uh, we're going to have the foresight, we're going to have the fortitude to not only start this company, but see it through every single challenge that this company has actually faced. I, I, I'm going to give a round of applause uh, to them for, for that, because that decision that they've made has really transformed the lives uh, of now tens of thousands of people all around the world. Soon it will be hundreds of thousands, and soon it will be one million customers that would have been impacted with that decision that they made. Uh, but I'm also very grateful for each and every one of you as well. Obviously, we're grateful for the top leaders in this company, the Alex Mortons, the Yvonne and Monica Tapias, the Jason Browns, the Matt Rose. I know they just picked up their brand new babies, uh, Lamborghini boys. That's what we're going to call them from now on, Lamborghini boys. Uh, I know Matt picked up the truck and, and uh, Jason picked up the Aventador. That's what I'm talking about. Love to see uh, winners continue to go out there and really shine bright. I'm grateful for them, but I'm really grateful for each and every one of you that's on this call uh, here tonight. I'm grateful for your story. I'm grateful for the success that you're creating right now. I'm grateful for the success that you're going to have and the success that you're having right now within iMarket Slime. I don't take it for granted whatsoever. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you uh, because we don't get to the goals and the dreams that we have without you accomplishing your goals and your dreams. You know, and I came up in an industry where we were taught, eh, you don't have to thank your organization um, because you don't want them to feel like they're the reason for your success. Well, I don't believe any one person is the reason for success. I don't believe I'm the reason for anybody's success or you're the reason for anyone's success. I believe that we are. I believe that as a collective group of individuals that come together to say, okay, we're going to do something special we're going to go through these challenges. We're going to grow through these challenges. And one day, quite possibly one day, if we do all the things that we need to do, if we do things the right way, my opinion, if we keep God at the center of what we're doing, love people, I believe that we can actually have an incredible run here with iMarkus Live. All right. Now, with all that being said, there's some things I want to share with you tonight. In the very beginning of this call, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, my normal training. Uh, those of you know, if you want to know 
Uh, what's what's my mindset when I go into any training that I do, whether it's a conference call, whether it's a live training? I always train on both sides of success. I always train on the spiritual side of success, the mental side of success, the mentality that you want to have, the mindset that you want to have, the feelings that you want to have. But then I also train on the natural side of success, the skill sets that you want to have, the prospect, the presenting, the promoting for events. I always, I always train on that as well. I lean more heavily to the spiritual side of success because I know that's what creates the activity. That's what creates uh, the physical side of success. Um, so if, if you want to if you want to follow that same format of really how to give a training, that's what I would always recommend. Always, always give something uh, from a mind mindset perspective, but then also give some meat and potatoes when it comes to actually building the business. All right. But tonight I'm going to start a little bit different. This is this is what I would call housekeeping. OK, this is what I would call housekeeping roles here. And uh, I've been on a few conference calls uh, with with uh, with the corporate side of iMarket Live, um, and specifically, I've been on I've been on a few calls when it comes to compliance issues. Okay, compliance issues. Um, let, let's see, we got, and this is why I wanted you to have everybody on this call here tonight. So, all right, we're close to a thousand people uh, on the call now. Everybody on your team is out on this call, right? But I want you to pass this information on down to them, okay? Um, compliance compliance is the word that most people don't like to hear, uh, but it is, it's very necessary, okay? It's very necessary in this industry, unfortunately, because a lot of people uh, have not really learned how to govern uh, how they operate when it comes to business, okay? Uh, there's two specific things I want to address on this call. I know Chris Materi will be addressing one of them, uh, possibly both of them, on a call that I think he's doing tomorrow uh, as well. And I want to address it uh, with, with with this book here. And, and I, I don't know what my original copy is. This is this is a, a copy of Thinking Grow Rich. I'll, uh, this is a, a company I was a part of, so I'll cover that logo there. But this is this is this book right here, Thinking Grow Rich. I want to cover. I want to cover something uh, that is in here, okay? Uh, because I, I truly believe that if we're going to accomplish our goals and our dreams, uh, a lot of a lot of what we do and the, the philosophies and principles that we follow will come from this book right here. It will come from Thinking We're Rich. Uh, it will come from The Science of Getting Rich. It will come from The Stranger's Secret. It will come from information that inspires people to go out there and really, really do well. Now, I talk about this formula all the time, okay? And this formula is, is the self-confidence formula, okay? The self-confidence formula. If you, if you have your book, your Thinking Grow Rich book, it's in the chapter faith, okay? It's in the chapter faith, okay? So I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to get to the point that I really want to get to. There's this five, uh, this five steps here. Uh, to, I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life, all right? I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistence, continuous action towards its attainment, okay? And I here now promise to render such, such action. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a, we have a definite purpose here with iMarkets Live. It's to empower to enrich and to educate one million customers. That's the focus. That's the objective of this of this company and and i know that we have the ability I, I know you feel that we have the ability to actually get this done now on the way to getting to that definite purpose there are going to be goals that we're going to set at the beginning of march uh and, and i'm not a prophet or anything like that but at the beginning of march i told my leaders i said listen at the beginning of january i said we're going to break five channels in january and then i and in february i said we're going to break 10 channels and then march said we're going to break 15 channels right and, and every month it's happened. This month we broke over 15 chairmans within iMarkets Live. Let's give a 777 in the chat for that, all right? 777, over 15 individuals went chairman 10 or above. Some went 25, some went 50. Uh, this particular month, some went 250, all right? We even have a brand new chairman 250, uh, Alan Padilla, all right? Now, so, so congratulations to you. Congratulations to the field. So we're well on our way to achieving our definite or purpose, okay? Now, watch this. Number two, it says, I realize that the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action, okay? Let me 
So the dominating thoughts of your mind, so what's on your mind, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a platinum 1000. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a champion 10. Look, wherever, wherever you are right now in, in your career here with IML, whatever your dominating thought is, your goal, all right, it's reproducing itself in some outward physical action. Well, what's that physical action? Physical action is you're prospecting every day, you're presenting every day, you're promoting for the big events every day, like the one we have coming up May 10th and the 11th right here in Houston, Texas. Absolutely amazing event. Chris Viteri will be here uh, for that event, okay? So I realized that the dominating thoughts in my mind will eventually reproduce uh, themselves in outward physical action um, and gradually turn themselves into physical reality. So and gradually turn themselves into physical reality. So the physical reality are the Platinum 150s. And you should be breaking a lot of Platinum 150s. We're going into the final month of the 100000 the P-150, $100,000 giveaway. I don't know if you fully understand how powerful this promotion is, all right? Just imagine, we're pulling out a hundred times, a hundred names. And it could be the same name as many times as 24, okay? So, guys, listen, take advantage of that promo. I'll talk about it here in a little bit, all right? Now, uh, in, in physical reality, therefore, I will concentrate my thoughts for at least 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person, the chairman, I intend to become, thereby creating in my mind a clear, and I talk about the word clear, C-L-E-A-R, the last three letters spelled here, so I can hear it all the time. Something's clear, I can see it all the time, all right? A clear mental picture. All right, so that's num step number two. Step number three, I know through the principle of auto-suggestion, so the principle of auto-suggestion, if you don't know what auto-suggestion is, auto-suggestion is you talking to yourself, right? So I'm so happy and grateful now that I have 200 brand new chairman tenants and above my organization by December 31st uh, in, in iMarkets Live. So the, through the principle of auto-suggestion, which is the only known way to create the book here, any desire, any desire. Wow. You say, well, this have anything to do with compliance. I'm coming to it. Don't worry. Any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of attaining the object back of it. Therefore, I will devote 10 minutes daily demanding of myself to develop self-confidence, okay? So let me repeat number three. Number three is very, very important. This is the meat of the self-confidence formula. It says, I know through the principle of auto-suggestion, any desire, any desire, so desire of the company, the desire of the company is to empower, enrich, and educate one million customers. So, so I know through the principle of auto-suggestion that any desire, when we keep saying this over and over again, auto-suggestion of this desire that we are going to impact, that we are going to empower and enrich and educate one million customers, uh, that, uh, that I persistently hold in my mind, it will eventually, eventually, not right away, but eventually seek expression through some practical means of attaining the object back of it, okay? Therefore, I would devote 10 minutes, uh, devote 10 minutes daily uh, to demanding of myself the post, uh, development of uh, self-confidence, okay? So I, I know Chris is doing this every day, all right? I, I watch his Instagram, and he's making certain declarations, making certain pro uh, proclamations, and he's making certain decisions to really beef up this company and really help this company go, okay? Now, watch this. I have clearly written down a description of my definite chief aim, right? I've clearly written down, okay? And, and I'll get mine here in a little bit. All right, I've clearly written down the description of my definite chief aim in life. I will never stop trying until I uh, until until I shall have developed sufficient self confidence for its attainment. Let me read that again. I've clearly written down. Writ, write, how many times you even talk about write it down, write the desire down? Okay, <laughs> the description of my definite chief aim in life, and I will never stop. Okay, trying, going for it, putting forth the effort doing the activity until I shall have developed sufficient self-confidence for its attainment. Okay. Now, is everybody still with me? Okay. If you're with me, because this is where the compliance comes into play. If you're with me, press 777 in the chat. You're with me right now. You got 1,100 people. Good. I'm glad we're, we're getting more folks on this call. Okay. Now, we can do step one. We can do step two. We can do step three. 
We can do step four. But here's where most companies screw it up. Here's where most companies screw it up. This is where most owners of companies screw it up. This is where most leaders of companies screw it up, whether it's top leaders, top earners, or executives in the company, or this is where distributors, IBOs, customers screw it up. You ready? Step number five. Now listen to me closely. Now I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you feel like I'm talking to you. I, I do. I, 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 this is not an indirect message. This is a direct message to you. Everybody that's on this call. So I want you to internalize this and say, okay, search yourself and say, okay, what can I do to change? Because here's what this says. Because you wonder, how does a company have so much success and then boom, they're gone. Or boom, uh, things don't work out. Or they go from doing a certain amount of sales, millions of dollars, and then boom, you look up two, three years later, all their leaders are gone. Watch this. Number five, I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure. I'm going to repeat this again. And I'm explaining just that first sentence to you. I fully realize. See, when you fully realize something, that means that uh, you you kind of learn that from experience. You know, like you kind of gone through it. You know, like like the 500 of the richest people in the world that helped write this book. They say I fully realize. So. They didn't, they, they, they thought they realized it before. They, they, they thought, okay, yeah, that, that might be true. But at this point, by the time this book came out, 1937, they were at the point where they said, I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure. So what does that mean? That means that you can get wealth and you can get a position. But it says that no wealth or position can long endure. That means you can have it for a short period of time. That means that you can have success for a year or two or three or four or five, right? But it says no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. So a couple, couple things here. So when I see uh, companies that start and their mindset is, we're gonna go after IML. We're gonna we're gonna take over IML. Or they talk bad about IML. Um, because I've read this, it already tells me that if it's not built upon truth and justice, when I watch companies that start and I can clearly see they're taking advantage of people. I can clearly see that they're lying to people like selling a product five times greater than what it is being sold in the marketplace. I laugh. I literally chuckle beyond belief because in this book, it clearly says if it's not built upon truth and justice, it can't work. If IML was selling this educational platform, five times greater, six times, seven times greater than what Forex education goes for, David and Monitia would have never got involved in this business. Because I couldn't look at someone in the face and tell them, oh, yeah, well, yeah, my product is seven times greater than what's out there in the marketplace, but yeah, you should buy it anyway. Can't do that because clearly it says here, it can't last unless it's built upon truth and justice. Well, that's not truth and that's not justice. Now watch this. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction that does not benefit all whom it affects. So let's talk about this compliance issue. We just finished the first quarter. Today is the last day of the first quarter. Okay. And IML, within this 90-day period of time, in my opinion, I haven't seen the type of growth that's happened in this company in the first 90 days of this year. Okay, and guess what? It's going to get even bigger. It's going to get even bigger. It's going to get even stronger. 
All right, great things are going to continue to happen. But guys, no wealth or position can long endure unless it's built upon truth and justice. I will engage in no transaction that does not benefit all of whom it concerns. Cross recruiting. Cross recruiting. What is cross recruiting? Cross recruiting is when someone is in someone else's organization. They're in someone else's line of business. And you go over there. Maybe they come to a meeting. Maybe they even call you. And they say, hey, listen, I don't like my upline. Okay. Uh, I want to switch over. Can I sign up again in your group? I won't put it under my name. I'll put it under my brother's name. I'll put it under my wife's name. I'll put it under my aunt's name. I'll put it under my, my dead great, great, great grandmother's name. Because I want to be a part of your team. I just think your team is so amazing. I just think your team, everybody's just winning on your team. That is nonsense, ladies and gentlemen. No one, no one, no one has a team where everybody's winning. Everybody on everybody's team has more people losing than winning. That's life. That's business. So if someone comes to you or you go to someone, and if it's not within the rules, what does the rule say? If a person wants to start again in iMarket's life for whatever reason, the rule, the policy as of right now says that they have to sit out for six months. So from the they have to call IML and say, hey, listen, I'm terminating my position. Today is March 31st. That means they cannot come into business April, May, June, July, August, September. They can't join the business until October of 2019. We can do everything right. We can speak. We can, we can work. We can demand of ourselves persistence. We can, we can have faith. But we can screw everything up if we don't understand number five. I fully realized that no wealth. So that rank that you hit when you cross-recruited someone, it, it says it can't endure. If you're on social media and you're constantly, oh, my team this and my team that, guys, you will never hear me say that. Never. Everybody is on your team. Do you realize that it's the same company? Do you understand that it's the same company? That if someone else is failing in your company, it's you that's failing because they're in your company. But it's the ego that drives you. You want to beat your chest and say, oh, my organization is doing so great. My, my leadership is doing so great. Guys, I've watched this tear down a company to nothing. This is the whole company doing it, feeling like we were the best thing in network marketing. We were, we were, we were, listen, sliced bread, sliced bread ain't had nothing on us. And that company today, unfortunately, done. Done. Five, six years ago, company could do no wrong. Company, because guess what? We were teaching these principles. We were teaching these principles. People were believing at an all-time high. People were working. People were making money. People were succeeding. I fully realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Okay. So when a company says, oh, we want to raid IML, or you say you want to go raid another company, and you want to target another company, and you want to go recruit leaders from other companies, guys, Listen, leaders, they got to call me. 
they got to I've, I've got friends that are in other companies, and they'll tell you, I, I never talked to them about my business. Justin Owens. Justin Owens was another company. I was already making bank over here. He knew I was making bank. Not one time did I ever say, man, you need, you need to stop doing what you're doing. You need to come roll with me. He brought it up to me. Chad Thompson called me. Spiller called me. Okay. Any leader I could think of that came from another company, they could call me. Why? Because I can't engage in any transaction that does not benefit all whom it concerns. Cross recruiting. You got, you got to make, why should we have compliance for that? You, you should make a personal decision that tonight and say, you know what? But this, ain't, this ain't David saying this. This is, this, is, this is Andrew Carnegie. This is Napoleon Hill. Right? This is, this is, this is 500 richest people in the world that said, I fully realize that no wealthy position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction that does not benefit all whom it concerns or at all whom it, it affects. I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use. And the cooperation of people. Actually, no, it says, uh, let me read that. I will engage in no transaction that does not benefit all whom it concerns. I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. You need the cooperation of other people, not just people in your group. Not just people in your group. You need the cooperation of everybody in high markets life. You know, if, 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 I've got, if I've got a new customer that just, that just got started in, uh, in Japan or, you know, in Florida or Chicago, I don't live there. I need to be in cooperation with a leader that's there. What if the leader that's there... That's a chairman is not in my group, but I'm in competition with them. Oh, I'm envious of their success. Envy, what are you talking about? What's this right here? I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. I will eliminate hatred. Stop hating on people. But listen, let me explain something to you. Hate is a natural feeling for people. It's a natural feeling for, for, for humanity, all right? So if you've ever felt hate before, don't feel bad about it. Here's what you do. Go out of your way to celebrate the person that you felt that hate for. It's a natural feeling. It's not the right feeling to have, but it's natural. But what you got to do is you got to go out of your way and celebrate them so now you can drive that hate out. Just celebrate that person. Post about the person. Say nice things about the person. Why? For your benefit. I will eliminate hatred, envy. Who is it, who is it that you're envious of? Jealousy. Who is it that you're jealous of? Selfishness and cynicism. I need to look up what that word cynicism means. <laughs> okay? Somebody can look it up for me. Put the definition in the chat. Okay? By developing love for all humanity, because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never bring me success. If your business is not moving the way that you want to move right now, I'm telling you, it's because of step number five. If you're doing all, if you're doing the activity and you're speaking to confessions and all that stuff, but you still got hatred and jealousy and selfishness in your heart, you're not willing to give, you're not willing to share, you're not willing to lend people your expertise. It's like me saying, you know what? Now, I, you know, I can't get on a seven-figure mentorship call because, you know, it's other, other people's teams on there. Do you know, do you know, do you know uh, that e everywhere I go, like, I don't, I don't ask people, okay, who's good for you, man? And people from all, all parts of IML, they're there. Every part, they're there. And I was doing that in my last company. There was maybe three people in that company where if, if, if we traveled somewhere, all of that company was going to promote for it. Maybe three. And I was one of them. So 
gave, served, helped people that had no financial benefits here. Dr. Spiller was here in my home in 2014. Good friend of mine at the time recruited him into the business. No financial benefit. We had an event in Florida. I bought his flight to the event. No financial benefit. But that seed that was sown in 2014, guess what? He gave me a phone call in 2016. He said, hey, man, whatever you're doing, let's talk. I want to see it. I want to see what you're doing. Okay? Because I know that a negative attitude towards others can never be me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I will believe in them. You get to keep whatever it is that you give. And in myself, I will sign my name to this formula, commit it to memory, repeat it out loud once a day with full faith that it will gradually influence my thoughts and my actions so that I will become a self-reliant, successful person. Here's the second thing that I want to address. It, it, you know, we got the cross recruiting and then we have, and, and compliance is going to come out with a policy on this, auto trading. Ladies and gentlemen, we had FX signals, we had fusion, we eliminated those. Why? Because it wasn't right. If you if you do auto trading, okay, and if it's not the customer that presses the button and says, I want to buy, I want to sell, you have to have a license to do that. Do you have a license? Stop trading for people. If that's what you're doing, Stop it. Because that transaction does not benefit all whom it concerns. I've not met a trader out there yet that's 100 for 100. That hits on every trade. That hits every take profit. I, I haven't met them yet. I haven't met her. I haven't met him. They don't exist. The best of the best still lose trades. Still blow accounts. That's not what IML is all about. If you want to do that, resign your position, IML. Go start your own signals company. Do that. But as long as you have an IBO or customer position here, right, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you protect the whole entire company. All right? You want to protect the whole entire company. Okay? Chris could talk more about this as to why it's very, very important that we follow that. But ladies and gentlemen, it's right there in the book. Alex Morton, never cross-recruited. Okay. He's never taken anyone out, someone else's group, and said, okay, put them in my group. Okay. Von Tapia, never taken someone out, group, said, okay, put them in my group. Jason Brown, Matt Rosa, never done that. These are the top money earners in the company. So if they haven't done it, why do you why do you think you should do it? Okay. He said, well, David, I've never done that before. Great, I'm glad. <laughs> All right. But guess what? We gotta address this because that's the only thing that can stop this train from rolling, guys. That's the only thing that can stop this train. If if you're with me on this, if 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 this resonated with you. Let's put a 777 in the chat. I, I want to see if, if you guys understand what it is I'm sharing with you tonight. I understand the importance of it. All right. We, we've got something special here. We got a chance. We got a chance to do something pretty special here. We do. Okay. We got a chance, ladies and gentlemen. And that's all it is. It's an opportunity. It's a chance. But there's no guarantees here. There's no guarantees that we're going to become a billion dollar company. That we're going to have a, a million customers. There's some things that we've got to do. There's some changes that we got to make. There's some changes that I got to make as a leader. There's some changes you got to make as a leader. We've got to get better every single day. There's no perfect leader out there. There's no perfect IBO, perfect CEO, perfect CFO. No one is perfect, but we can work on it every single day. So you search yourself. Look at step number five of the self-confidence moment and say, hey, do I have any of these things working in me right now? And I need to eliminate them. Okay. 
You don't need to take from someone else to benefit you. Because it's not gonna, it's not gonna endure. Right? It's not going to endure. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to embark on the biggest month. See, guys, in my career, I've known that March, April, May, some of the biggest months that we've had in network marketing. We're about to experience the biggest month of the year thus far. Okay, what we've done the first 90 days of this year. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take a quantum leap over the next 90 days. April, May, June. We're, th this right here is the most pivotal 90-day period that we're about to have. But I want to talk about the first 30 days. I want to talk about April 1st to April 30th. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the event that we have coming up, early bird tickets. I want you to write this down. Early, you go to imltakeflight.com. Chris Terry is going to be there. Alex Moore is going to be there. Jason Brown, Ivana Monica Tapia, uh, 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 Matt Rosa is going to be there. Uh, we're going to have some of our corporate execs will be there as well. All the top champions will be in the house. Brandon Boyd will be in the house. I believe Austin Godsey will be in the house. China Bentley, Jewel Tanker, uh, uh, um, uh, Dr. Raphael Spiller. You've got uh, 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 Jeff and Angela Crookshank. You've got Gary and Talitha McSween will be in the house. you got Lawrence and Tamara Young will be in the house. Julian Krishna will be in the house. Guys, we got the very best. Brand new chairman, 50, 22-year-old phenom. Bryce Thompson will be in the house. We got some of the best of the best. Steven Lindor will be in the house doing some trading training as well. It's going to be an amazing event. It's the dress rehearsal to the I Am Convention. Early bird tickets for this two-day event, $67. Guys, it, it expires April the 2nd. So you've got tonight. And you've got tomorrow to get your early bird tickets. Go to IML. Someone put that in the chat. Uh, the website, imltakeflight.com. Go and get your tickets. It's limited seating. We're probably only going to be able to seat maybe about 2,500 people for this event. Okay, so this is not a convention. This is somewhat of a regional. But we just got some of the very best of the best. It will be in the house here in Houston, Texas. Okay, uh, Quinn, if you're listening to this call, we need to create a flyer. Uh, for the all-white party, we're going to be here at my home for an all-white party uh, that we're going to have. My chef is going to be here to cook for Platinum 1000s and above. Everybody is invited to that. If you are a qualified Platinum 1000, qualified Platinum 1000 uh, in the month of uh, in the month of April, in the month of April, you're invited to that party. Okay, in the month of April. All right. Uh, Platinum 1000 and above. In the month, so if you're if you're brand new and you hit it in the month of April, you're more than welcome to come. You gotta wear all white. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I've done a few here at my home. People always have fun. Uh, we even may have an entertainer. We may have a performance uh, that will take place. Uh, a well-known performer. It won't be me. Okay, it won't be me performing. <laughs> that will be that will be here uh, at the party. So it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Uh, get your tickets. IML take flight. Dot com. We're going to take all the momentum that we've created the first quarter of the year in the month of April. We're going to drive all of that into the month of May, and we're going to continue to promote the IM convention. That, to me, is really the start of IML. You know, IML started, obviously, 2013, but I believe that really the, the, the explosive growth that all of us are believing for, I believe that convention in September in Dallas, Texas, when we have 10,000 people there, and they see the new direction the company's going in, and they hear all the work that the corporate staff has been doing over the last nine months, I believe a lot of you that's in that room, you'll have tears rolling down your eyes because you will have full faith that, you know what, we may have found a company that we can say, you know what, we got a chance to do something special in it, okay? So all this is all planned out. All right. And it's all leading up to 2020 vision, ladies and gentlemen, 2020 vision and 2020, where the vision will be very clear. All right. To the whole world who IML really, really is. But let's talk about the next 30 days. All right. I want you to get a target. OK. April 1st.
to April 30th. Okay? I want you to get a target. Okay? Target. Okay? I want you to get a focus. Okay? I want you to get a goal, a specific goal. All right? I, I, I want you to decide. I want you to make, you know, you look at the word decide. It rhymes with some other words like homicide and suicide, right? Something dies. I want you to decide what you're going to get starting April 1st to April 30th. We got the 100, the Platinum 150, $100,000 giveaway. That drawing is going to happen May the 11th. Ladies and gentlemen, tell you how it's going to work. To start off the event, we're picking out 25 names to start the event. So, boom, we're starting off with a bang. Okay? Then the event's going to start. Okay? And then, before we go to lunch, we're going to pick out another 25 names. Boom. All right? Think about it. You can win multiple times, too. All right? But every three you put in, all right? For every three you put in, you get three entries. You put six in, you get six entries. You put nine in, you get nine entries. You put 12 in, you get 12 entries, ladies and gentlemen. So we can pick your name out when we do the first one. We can pick your name out when we pick out the 20th name. Every name we pick out, $1,000. It's $1,000. So we can do it 100 times. 1,000 times 100 is $100,000. Okay. So my question for you is this, what is going to be your target in the month of April? What are you going to focus on? Forget what's happened the first 90 days. Forget what's going to happen the rest of the year. I want you to focus just on the month of April, the next 30 days. What can you do? What is your personal goal that you're going to set for yourself? Okay. How many personal customers? That's what I want to know. How many personal customers are you going to personally enroll into your business in the month of April? Some of you will go platinum 150, 1,000, 2,000, all that good stuff. But today, it's one-on-one, -on -one, the next 30 days. It's you in the business. It's not about a rank. It's not about what your organization does. Your organization is going to do just fine. I want to know from you, and I want you to put in the chat, I want you to think about this, but I want you to put in the chat how many people, how many personal customers are you enrolling? This is the last 30 days of this promotion. This promotion is for Platinum 5000s and below. We're coming out with a website within the next week or so where it will show you how many entries you have. It will show you some of the top uh, entry winners as well so you can see it. How many customers? Is it three customers? Is it five customers? Is it six customers? Is it 10 customers? How many personal customers are you deciding? This is one-on-one. -on -one. This is you against the business. This is you against you against you. All right? This is you against you. How many customers am I going to personally enroll into my business this year? I'm going to be so focused on this number. I don't care what this person does, what this person doesn't do. I don't care what that company does, what that company doesn't do. It doesn't matter. In the month of April, tell me, in the, in the chat, put it in the chat, how many customers? How many customers? You're going to be there May 11th. You're going to be in the house. Your name is going to be pulled out of the hat. Okay? So whatever you spent to get to the event, guess what? You're leaving with it. How many customers? It's it's one on one, guys. It's not even a team. It's, it's one you against you. Is it six? Is it twelve? Is it eight? Is it tw is it two? What what are you committing to? What are you going to be focused on? I, I, I'm going to do the PS3. I'm going to peak interest. I'm going to show the plan. I'm going to do three calls. I'm not going to wait on my sponsor. I'm not going to wait on my upline. We just created a new. Uh, uh, IMLpresentation.com. Okay, we just did a new one. It should be up, hopefully by tomorrow, but definitely this week will be up. Okay, 
imlpresentation.com. So I'm going to pique people's interest. Hey, listen, in the last 10 years, the amount of money that's flowed through your bank account, how much money have you made on it? No. Well, John, what if there was a way? What if there was a skill that you could learn that would teach you how to multiply the money that you currently have right now? Would you want to know about it? Yeah. Well, listen, here's what I want you to do. Grab a pen. I want you to write this website down, imlpresentation.com. There's some other websites out there. I'm sure Brandon's got some websites out there. You can use it. It doesn't really matter. The goal is to show the plan. John, it's a two-part video. I want you to watch the first part. Don't watch the second part. Watch the first part. And usually when you tell people to do that, they watch both parts. All right? But tell them. Don't watch the second part. Watch the first part. After you watch the first part, call me back. How many people am I going to peak interest? How many people am I going to show the plan with? And then I'm going to do a three-way call. Hey, listen, John, I'm working with some incredible people. I want to connect you with them so they can get you some more information on how you can get yourself started with this amazing educational platform. I call my upline. I call Gary. I say, hey, Gary, listen. I talked to John. John looked at imlpresentation.com. He loved what he saw. You have a second to talk to him. Gary gets on the phone with John. Hey, John, how you doing? Great. Man, we, we, where do you live? Oh, I live in Houston. Oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm an engineer. Fantastic. You know, John was super excited about what's taking place in this company right now. So many people are getting their hands on this educational platform and they're changing lives. I know you had a chance to look at the presentation. What did you like best about what you saw? Well, I like this. I like that. You know what, John? I felt the same way, too. You know, me and my wife, when we got involved in this business, you know, that year we had made $7,000 and we started sharing this content with other people. Today, we're six-figure monthly earners in this business. Now, John, I don't say that to brag or to impress you, but just to let you know that one decision that we made has completely changed our lives and changed the lives of thousands of people all around the world. Okay? John, listen, with all the information that you have right now, when do you see yourself getting started with this? I see myself getting started right away. Awesome. But Dave, listen, let's get John T. website. Let's get him enrolled into the business. Let's get him plugged into the five steps. Let's get his uh, brokerage account opened up, demo account opened up. Let's get him plugged into IML Academy. Let's set up his meetings. And let's go! Let me do this. How many customers? One-on-one. -on -one. How many customers are you going to enroll personally to you in April? Okay. We're going to have the biggest month. Just with the people that we have on this call. Let me see. We got who do we got on this call right now? We got, let's see. Oh yeah, we got 13, 1394. Okay. Some people already quit. We have over 1400 people. Some are some people already quit. Okay. Stay on these calls to the end. <laughs> okay. Stay to the end. I will continue. I will I will not stop. Okay, that's what the book says. Okay. How many customers are you going to personally enroll? That's your target. That's what I want you to focus on. Okay? All right? That's what I want you to focus on. All right? Every single day. I'm so happy and grateful now that I sponsored 12 brand new customers in my IML business this month. Whatever, your, whatever that target is, whatever the amount of customers you're going to enroll, I want you to have that affirmation on your lips multiple times a day. And then you go out there, you peek at you, show plan, do a three call. And let's get everybody to the event that's taking place May 10th and 11th. Fan night, okay? We got fan night on the 10th. Best trading training I think is ever going to happen in IML history in one night. And then we got the main event on the 11th. Then we got the all-white party at my home. It's going to be off the chain, all right? We got our executive vice president of sales uh, on this call uh, here tonight. Alex, man, I'll say this publicly, man. Love you. Appreciate you. One of the best men I've ever met in my life. Uh, best best people that I've ever met in my life as well. Uh, you know, I, I don't know anyone who's ever had a bad word to say about you. And if they did, they couldn't say it to me. And if they did, boy, they they would have a they would have they, they would have a full. <laughs> I, I would be all in their chest right away. So I appreciate appreciate you so much being on this call. Alex, you there with us? I am here, my brother. I appreciate that. I cannot uh, get my camera on. Um, that's that's totally fine right now. But I just want to say that was a great call. I sat here. I got a notebook in front of me and a pen, and I was taking notes. And, I, and I'm so happy um, and proud that you talked about those things, David, because, you know, it's right and it's true that we have something so special, ladies and gentlemen. You know, first of all, I want to give it up to David and Manitia, my brother from another mother, somebody that I uh, – I publicly love as well. This guy just cares about 
everybody. He serves everyone all the time. And I've said it so many times from the stage, you know, he is one of the only people that I, uh, I actually look to and look up to as a role model. So if you guys love David, like I love David, man, give it two, 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 two in the chat box. I got to go quick. Chris's call starts in about six minutes over here, but I got to say, you know, I just got off this, uh, this tour. I was in, you know, Honduras and Chile and four cities in Argentina, Peru, and the amount of people's lives that we, not, not me, not David, not Yvonne, not Jason, Matt, China, Jewel, no, we, the amount of lives that we are transforming around the world, you guys, it is a real thing. You know, so many people literally in tears over $600 a month, you know, the P5000 in Santiago, Chile, he was singing on public transportation buses illegally with a microphone and a speaker for a few dollars a day. Now he is now a platinum 5,000. His mom, his little sisters were at the event in absolute tears of joy. You would have thought that P5,000 was $5 million a month to this family. And, you know, I got to reflect a little bit just to sit here today. My, my three year, uh, you know, I guess anniversary is coming up in August and we've done so many amazing things in so many people's lives across the world. We're not going to let anyone or anything hinder that to keep moving forward and keep progressing, keep growing, and keep getting better. So the cross-recruiting situation, that is just like, just don't do it. And you're going to see this new law by compliance, all right, with IML. You know, you're not going to, even if you wanted to do it, and you don't want to do it, but even if you wanted to, you're not going to do it because we're just going to straight up be cutting checks. And if you continue that behavior, you know, we're, we're just terminating people. We're just not going to stand for it. And on the auto trader situation, I know David covered that already, but you guys it's just, it's just not legal. So please don't promote that. Don't do that. Um, and let's just play fair. Let's play by the rules and let's just keep moving this thing forward. The, the, the first three months of 2019 has been absolutely explosive. Chairman after chairman, after chairman, multiple chairman fifties, in a week period, um, you know, new chairman, 250. I mean, it is just magical. It really is. It is magical what's going on right now inside of this amazing company. Uh, God's hand is on this company. And we all just have to continue to move together as one unit, as one frequency. And I just want to reiterate, you know, the Houston event, Take Flight event, you guys, May 10 and 11. David talked about all of the trainers, all of the speakers, all of the leaders, all of the corporate executive team, it might as well be, you know, a mini convention before the big convention. Uh, I, I challenge you to get to Houston, Texas. I know I was even promoting it down south in South America. It is going to be an absolutely phenomenal event and it's really going to set the tone for the rest of the year leading up to the Dallas iMarkets Live convention. And we are just just getting started. You know, I got to talk to a, uh, a close friend of mine today. David knows him as well. I bumped into him today when Matt and Jason were getting their Lamborghinis, Mike Sims. And he uh, he's made a lot of money in the industry. And he just said, you know, I'm so impressed with what you guys have done in iMarkets Live. You know, everybody in the industry of network marketing knows about us. They see us. They watch everything we do. So we must be careful on social media. We must be careful you know, having conversations with people inside network marketing, outside network marketing, we must keep iMarkets Live first class and world class because that's what this is. And that is the vision Mr. Christopher Terry and Isis Stilatori have for this company to be world class. So, David, I appreciate you, man. I love you. And I'm just so excited. I'm so I'm, I'm so thankful that over 1,500 people got on the call tonight, you know, to learn this information and the future is bright. And we want all of you on the call to make that decision, to make this month your best month ever. $100,000 getting given away. You want that 100 k so let's get to work together and let's uh, let's keep on keeping on. So, David, back to you, my man. Awesome, man. Alex, appreciate you coming on here uh, tonight, man. All of us love you as well. Put a, put a 777 in the chat. You love Alex Warren, our executive vice president of sales. Super, super pumped up, guys. It was one other thing I didn't mention as far as the compliance uh, deal. And real quickly here, income claims, guys, on your social media, no metaphor trader uh, accounts being shown, no income claims, ladies and gentlemen. Be smart about this. If you've got a prospect, 
you can actually talk to them one-on-one -on -one about what you're doing. You don't have to post it on social media. That also does not benefit all whom it affects, all right? So make sure we follow the self-confidence formula. We've got a target. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It's you against you in the month of April. Who is going to win? Is it the positive you or the negative you that's going to win? Whatever that number is that you put down, then I'm going to sponsor three. I'm going to sponsor 12. I'm going to sponsor 16. Let's get it done. We're going to close this call here with a little bit of celebration here. This is the Yvonne Tapia Get Crunk. Get crunk call uh, a song here. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. If you're ready to make this thing happen, put a let's go. Let's go. I love this song. One-on-one. Mm. -on -one. It's one-on-one -on -one in the month of April. How many customers? How many customers? How many customers are you personally enrolling? Let's go. <laughs> 